They've only gone and done it, ladies and gentlemen. They've actually given Soldier 76 recoil. And I'm going to show you what this means in this video because this is actually massive. This is the biggest buff Soldier has ever got. And I'm not even exaggerating here, guys. This is actually insane. So what I'm going to show you guys here is the way the new Soldier 76 recoil works. So I'm just going to fire the weapon, holding down just primary fire, and I'm going to go for it. You will also notice that I have now got 30 bullets in the magazine instead of 25. That is a buff. So check this out. This is fully auto fire. Notice what's happening here, right? There is no longer weapon bloom or bullet spread, whatever you want to call it, on the pulse rifle. It's firing as it, it, it's like it's got recoil. You can see the pattern. Like you can notice it compared to the, the sort of white line that's going straight up the middle there. You can see it's not perfect. There is a little bit of wiggle, but basically this is full recoil. Now, why am I getting crazy hyped over this? Like, what's the deal? Well, the deal is this, because if I move to the side and then I go into control recoil mode and fully auto, watch this. So I'm controlling recoil here while firing. Um, yeah, that's 30 Soldier 76 pulse rounds in the same spot, fully auto. Uh, uh, yeah, this is massive, like absolutely massive. I think we're going to be seeing Soldier pretty much everywhere, <laughs> guys, if uh, if this is going to go live. So this is on Experimental right now. Uh, you guys can check it out. Just load into the game and click Experimental. But what I'm going to do now is jump into a game and just play a bit of Soldier, and we'll see what happens. Okay, first things first, let me show you a little bit of a gameplay clip that will probably summarize just how crazy this change is. Now, look at what I'm doing with Soldier's Weapon. This is fully automatic fire, and I'm just trying to control recoil. You do not use burst fire with this weapon anymore because there's no random weapon spread. You simply hold down primary fire and just spam bullets out. It, it is a laser. It is a literal laser cannon. You look at the target, and you're just like, and then you reload, and then you reload, and then you reload. It is actually insane. Now, of course, the question is, in an actual normal game, what is going to happen? Is this DPS output going to be incredibly stupid, massively high? Is this going to be the flavor of the month buff to Soldier? Much like Genji, if you remember, a few months ago, Genji was catapulted into the meta and then absolutely destroyed with a subsequent patch. This, though, this Soldier 76 is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I've got to give a bit of a disclaimer <laughs> before I get stuck into this. I love Soldier. You guys know He's my favorite hero in the game to play. I know he's simplistic. Whatever. I just really gel with the way Soldier plays and have such a good time playing him. This is a huge change and it makes Soldier's sort of fantasy of this like, I guess, steroided up Super Soldier from, I want to say from the future. I guess he is from the future because it's kind of Overwatch and it, it's in the future. Um, like he said, he's the Captain America style guy, right? He's been pumped with all the crazy drugs and he's like absolutely insane and also GG. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's experimental. Uh, j j just chill. Um, yeah, so he's beautiful. But oh, before I carry on, look at this. So yeah, it, it takes a while to get a game. Um, yeah, it, it, it took a long while to get a game. 20, 27 minutes there, which is uh, feels bad, man. But uh, eventually I did get into um, a game. Anyway, the fantasy this sells is great because you, you, you feel powerful like firing this weapon off. The question is, is it crazily OP and super ridiculous? Well, these are actually the changes. So they give a, an explanation why they're doing this, although they do give more information on the forums, which we'll go into in a second. But look at those changes there. Heavy pulse rifle. rifle. And by the way, I didn't even know this was called a heavy pulse rifle. I just thought it was a pulse rifle, but whatever. Bullet spread removed. Constant recoil added. Ammo increased from 25 to 30. That's it. Those are the changes. That's all it is, right? But it is massive because you will notice that now full auto fire with Soldier is what you do. This is no longer like, I don't know, a Counter-Strike M4, A1 or whatever the weapons are, an AK-47, where you're just firing to sort of land a few hits. And then as soon as your spread comes in, you stop firing, right? It's not about that anymore. It's about just fully auto, right? And even so, those examples of the Counter-Strike weapons isn't really great anyway for the old Soldier weapon because it because it didn't have a set re recoil pattern. It had a, a sort of random bloom after a number of shots. So a bit of a poor example there, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? It is now laser accurate if you control the recoil at any range. Now, of course, there's still damage fall off. There's still all of that going on, but it is laser accurate if you control the recoil, which makes it incredibly good. I think here I run into their spawn and, ca and try and catch the, the stragglers. I think we get Soldier 76. He's about to show his head a lot. Yeah, there he is. So look at this, fully auto fire in there. I just beat him in the aim game. Okay, it was close. Helix rockets went in as well, but it is just, it is just, it's just, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy.
All right, so this is from the forum post where they go into a little bit more detail and they ask this question, what are we trying to address? Compared to other hit scan damage heroes, Soldier 76 has been perceived as one of the weaker choices in heroes. So we want to test some adjustments to change this. Rather than making some number adjustments, we'd like to test out an overhaul to his shooting mechanics. Now, what is the key thing here, right? This is a change to Soldier that is trying to address straight up inflating the stats, which you can perceive as power creep, right? So Overwatch has had a problem with this. I don't care what you say, it's had a problem with this. And they've made recent changes to bring this under control. And there have been really good changes to the game. But essentially, if you just increase the numbers. So if you look at the game right now and go, okay, Ash is really, really good. Widowmaker's always been Widowmaker. She's good. McCree obviously is good. Soldier is like the hit scan hero that is like, nah, we're not going to take him because he doesn't have that secure kill potential, right? Because he just, well, he's just not as consistent when it comes to securing the kills and, you know, doing that kind of damage, which is, I guess, and also go away, Hanzo, which is also like, um, I, I guess, kind of relevant damage, like effective damage, because yeah, Soldier could always pump out a lot of damage. But could he secure the kills? And will he be able to do that now with these changes? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But obviously, these changes are, are pretty ridiculous. Um, but yeah, Soldier is just increasing the number of damage that each bullet does. Would just That's just power creep. Because then how do you fix that with the other heroes? What do you do? Do you then increase their damage output? And, and that's a whole kind of conundrum or like a Pandora's box to open. Which Blizzard have, have opened that before. And yeah, we kind of know where that went. Anyway... This is the second part to the comment, and they say, what are we testing? Well, in the past, we introduced bullet spread to Soldier 76 heavy pulse, pulse rifle to make the weapon centered around control burst. In this experimental mode, we're shifting the weapon to instead be centered around recoil and weapon control. While the change list may be short, we're hoping that this will breathe new life into Soldier 76's playstyle. And yeah, this is a radical change. And I'm going to say this straight away. You know, as somebody with probably like over a thousand hours playing this hero, this is just better. This just feels better in every single way. Because, like, controlling burst fire was okay. You know, that was part of Soldier. And, I, you know, I was the go away Hanzo. <laughs> he always gets to get lost. Um, which is fine. But this now, again, going back to the idea of fantasy, you are literally just smashing people with, with automatic, heavy automatic weapon fire, which I guess is what Soldier's supposed to be. So we, we should probably talk, though, about you know, where this could go in the game, what this could do to the meta. Are we going to see Soldier everywhere in the game? Well, if this goes through in its current state, um, Soldier's got five more bullets, so he's just got a DPS buff there. But because a lot of his shots now hit, if you can control the, the recoil, which, by the way, the recoil isn't really that severe. But you can control this recoil pretty easily. Um, you know, it took me about 10 seconds to get used to it, which is, you know, it, it's not a hard thing to get used to. Of course, yes, you need to aim and whatever, but it's not a difficult thing to get used to. So what happens if Soldier becomes meta? What do we start seeing then? And what could stop Soldier becoming meta? Now, if Soldier becomes meta, there's a certain... South Korean hero is extremely good at countering soldier. Um, so we might see a lot more diva. You might see heroes like Echo and Farah even sort of less used because there'd be even more deadly hit scan on the field, which has always been an issue for those heroes. I mean, you look at how strong Ash is right now uh, and even the other hit scan, and then you put this into the mix. Yeah, she's just going to get deleted. And especially because they're relatively low HP DPS heroes, you can cut through them. I mean, you can cut through tanks with this soldier. So spamming into low HP targets, it's going to be incredibly powerful, and it's just going to rip them apart. Now, there is a kind of funny bug with the attack visor at the moment, and I'm pretty sure this will be fixed. Um, the attack visor has got recoil. So even though it locks on, <laughs> it's got recoil. It makes no sense. It's just annoying. But you guys can see from this footage here, it, it is actually crazy. But actually, as I'm watching this back and doing the live sort of commentary over it, it is crazy to me how much damage you can just output with the soldier. Like, attack visor is fine, but it's almost like you don't even need attack visor. If you can aim and just fire in the general sort of way of the enemy, you're just going to ruin them, right? It's just great. I don't know. It's great. But, like, you guys know I'm a soldier player, so I'm going to sit here and go, oh, this is great. But we, we're trying to be... Oh, I, actually, this is kind of embarrassing. So I tried to do the rocket jump, and, uh, yeah, that's a fail. That's a huge fail. That's a huge fail. But it worked out, as you guys will see in a second. So don't worry about it. it it's fine. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I think this is a really cool change because it's a change to a hero in a positive way. They've changed the mechanics in like a really positive way rather than just like, you know, bumping up his damage numbers or, I don't know, doing something crazy. Although I'm still a fan of the idea of being able to throw Biotic Field. I think that would be really funny. Like Yeet a heal in from the back. That would be amazing. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, especially if you're a soldier main or... Can you see this actually like making a mess of the game and hit scan is powerful in Overwatch anyway and would it be even more powerful now? I don't know.
But this is clear that if we remember what Jeff said a while ago, he wants Overwatch to be more of an FPS game. This is possibly the most FPS change I think I've ever seen when it comes to Overwatch. They've straight up gone, okay, if you can aim with a soldier, you're going to do loads of damage. And that's really interesting to me. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you, you lovely lot, on the next one. Doodaloo.